This is my 99 Land Cruiser that I am trying to troubleshoot the crank with no start. I was backing up last week into my driveway. Uh, the truck cut off on me when I had stopped in reverse. Um, it was just silent, no hesitation, nothing. It just cut off on me. Um, Try to start it up, wouldn't start. Try starting up again, wouldn't start. Tried probably three to four times, wouldn't start. So I ended up pushing back here. Um, eventually, the next day, it was it started, um, ran fine. I didn't move it because I just wanted to see what would happen with it just idling. Um, sure enough, after 15 minutes, um, it went off. Um, again, silent. Uh, it was a silent shutdown. Um, I had the lights on, AC on, radio on. Everything remained on, but the engine was just off, silent. Um, so I cranked it up again and it started up um, again. It just died. It went silent. Everything was still still on. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick video. So far, I already replaced my EFI ECD um, as well as fuse. New fuses, um, new, well, new relay, new fuse. Um, I swapped my ignition relays. Um, I've taken my starter out starter relay out just to see if it's the starter and when i do that the starter doesn't do anything so when i put it back in the starter you know does its job but truck doesn't start um i replaced a fuel filter probably uh roughly i want to say uh i want to say two to three years um my timing belt is new um it's been installed for roughly uh, three months So I did a complete timing job everything that's associated with the time has been uh, replaced pump, you know um, my uh, Camshaft position sensor is new as well. Sorry. I'm trying to kill the mosquitoes and talk um, So as you can see It's new I Replace the crankshaft position sensor. Oh, I gotta get ready for this one. Which is up underneath there. I replaced that. Uh, let's see what else we got. New coal packs, uh, spark plugs. That's new. Replaced the mass airflow sensor. That's new. Um, do 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 do. Let's see, I don't really have a fuel pressure sensor, nor do I have a uh, test, you know, a device to test compression. Um, but the way that I confirmed that I have fuel is that I took uh, my fuel line off the fuel filter and uh cranked it fuel splashed out cranked it again fuel splashed out again um then i disconnected um the bolts on the fuel rail on each side and did the same test and uh fuel spilled out so right now what i'm going to do oh also let me run you past this as you can see here i locked the door So as you can see, I got the seats and everything moved off. So of course that means that my uh, fuel pump was replaced. Um, I'm not gonna move this chair, but you get the logistics. Fuel pump was replaced. All right, um, let's see. Back there, I've replaced, uh, what was it? The fuel pump, uh, ECU, I replaced it with another unit. Um, I can't find the one that I, head in here it's somewhere around this truck it's more than likely back there the other one but i replaced that um this was uh the crankshaft position sensor from a sequoia that i had purchased just to see so i got roughly three cranks no camshaft position sensors um and this is my other mass airflow sensor um i have this taken apart because I was looking at the inserter switch which I went and hit the reset button right 
there, this yellow portion I hit. And I don't think that's gonna do anything. But I hit that. I got the uh, computer out, which I looked at the motherboard, didn't see any uh, things to really consider as suspect, but you never know. Motherboards can still be bad even though it doesn't show physical signs, you know. Alright, so I'm just going to show you a quick video of how it sounds. Because everybody likes to see that, baby. Um, let me just make sure that I got everything out the way before I even try to start it. This last thing I want to do is to be trying to crank stuff over and uh, move that out way got my wires everything is connected okay okay good 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 make sure nothing's in the way of the belt all right cool um this might be a problem because i didn't uh tighten that fully down but i did tighten down my negative so we'll see what happens um the fuel pump is very quiet so it's not something that I can really hear. I'll have to have somebody to try to start. God damn, let's get it. Let me just hurry up. But yeah, it's it's hard to hear that fuel pump. But let's go ahead and crank it. And I'm gonna give you guys a view. See if I could give you guys a view from inside. Let me just find something to put my phone down on. Um, hopefully it doesn't Ooh, almost almost damage my phone there and it would be good to see if I can get a video of the actual you know what I'm not doing let me see if this might, might work out All right, so if I break my phone, it's all for you guys. I'm gonna play it safe and put something on my phone to kind of help keep it from moving. All right, that should do it. I'm gonna try to start up again. So I am almost positive that this might be possibly a, uh, I don't know, I, can't, uh, I don't know, it's confusing. Cause I want, I want to say it might possibly be a issue with fuel. Um, I apologize for this thing being so, so long, but I just got to do this. I got to put my gloves on, take my watch off. Uh, come on, baby. I just have to do this just to show you. Because, again, I don't have the proper tools um, for really testing the fuel pump. So, I'm going to just go about it as I would normally do. Um, right now, what I'm about to do is take off that fuel line. So what I'm going to do is take that off. I already confirmed with that I have spark on my cylinders. Um, I tested each coil pack uh, with my multi-reader. Um, I also did the actual test where you take the coil pack off. You leave your spark plug in, take the coil pack off, get another spark plug, plug it up to the coil pack, get your coil pack while well, your spark plug tester, connect that, see if you got light or spark. And I, I got spark. So... Let me go ahead and I just had some daggone uh where is she? I just had some freaking 
Where the heck did I put the damn things? I don't know. Let me just use this. Um, I like to use something so that way when it spills. When it, ooh, 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 Lord. Have mercy. Okay, that was a big old uh, mosquito. That was zipping. It was on the zippy. All right, I'm just do that. All right, so now let me put this down. Pull this line. Push that down. Oh Lordy, goodness gracious, what the? See that? All right, so. We're gonna do the nasty touch. Just give me one minute. Let me see if I can find. I need another rack. This is going to be an extremely long video. I do apologize, but I'm trying to do the best that I can to show you guys. All right. I'm going to do it like that. All right. So watch. Uh, see if I can get you guys a little bit. No, my camera won't go anywhere. Else. Actually, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. All right. So watch. Uh, this is the fuel um, filter. Uh, disconnected the line that goes to the engine um, just watch it as I crank it once it's gonna spill fluid oh, come on mosquitoes it's gonna spill fluid around So I, I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing, but I see fuel everywhere, all over the electronics. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say we're getting fuel from the fuel pump. All right, so now we got that done. Let me go ahead and connect the back. Yep. Yeah, she's definitely soaked. So we're gonna leave the truck alone for now until we can get all this fuel to evaporate. Um, I didn't get any on the motor, so that's good. All right, so you know, fuel too is also good cleaning. It's just gonna clean up everything. But anyway, enough of my rambling and stuff. You guys can kind of get the logistics stuff that it's not starting. Um, so any recommendations will help. Um, my next step is to replace my uh, ECU. And let me actually run that by you guys too. Because I did have a question. Let me just put that down for now. Uh, let's go ahead and go run over here. see this is the ECU that's in the truck it is the let me just flip the camera around there we go so it is the eight nine six 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 zero two six zero um, the one that I'm purchasing is the six zero two six one um, which is the updated version of this so I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that, you know, for $150, um, it's worth a shot because I've, I've, I've changed so much stuff on this damn truck. It's ridiculous, man. And I honestly don't know what else it could be. I just tried to insert a switch 
the shutter switch didn't do anything. It's quite possible the shutter switch might be bad. Um, if you guys can give me any tips on how to check the shutter switch or what the shutter switch part is, that will work out too. Um, let's see. If I were to disconnect this ECU, um, it will still be the same thing. The, the truck will still try to, you know, it will still start the same way. Like, you know, the, the no starting. So, anyway, I'm, I'm done. I'm done for the day. Take off these uh, gloves. But anyway, um, other than that, it's, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I was thinking, you know, clog cat, but you know, if it was a clog cat, it should be able to start up. Um, but it should be like some real, you know, hesitant because it can't really let that access. It can't really get that exhaust to flow out the system. Um, so typically no starts to me will be gas, uh, spark and air. Um, and we got everything here. Uh, this was just a crack. Uh, I know it's ugly. Eventually I want to replace this, but the truck's been running fine with this. So I, it's definitely not this whole connection thing. All of the lines are on. Um, this thing is just, it's ridiculous, man. Um, only reason why I say it's ridiculous because I can't figure it out. Um, but I love my lane cruiser. I love it. Um, I definitely want to say that I, th I believe, um, I, I also, uh, am going, well, I've also have purchased a, uh, Toyota, uh, well, I wouldn't say Toyota, but the Tech Stream or Tech Sim, uh, ECU tester. And I'm going to see if that does anything. Actually, you know what? Before I do hang up with you guys, let me just get out my little cheap tester. So that way you can see. I would make two videos, but I really don't want to do that. Here we go. It's in there. Alright, switch it. Check engine light is on. I uh, can't really see, see it because it's got it's got some adhesive on there. Do, 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 do. Let me turn the system. So my hope is that the text stream. I could be pronouncing it incorrectly. Oh, look at that. We got a uh, got a code. And I'm pretty sure it's going to say map sensor. Because that's what it's been saying. And I replaced the map sensor. I reset the ECU code. But let's see what it says now. Throttle pedal sensor switch. That's interesting. That is interesting. Why would it say throttle pedal position sensor? What the hell? Um, but honestly, what would the throttle pedal position sensor switch a circuit? Well, could, I'm wondering if this might be related to when I hit the asserter switch. Or is it something seriously? Huh. Throttle pedal. I really didn't want to have to do this. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to look. Let's see if this throttle pedal. I'm gonna have to look at that. I'm gonna look up the code. I'm gonna look for it. Figure out what the heck is going on with this code. Um, but anyway, I'm hoping that the tech stream sensor tester can be able to actually tell me, give me a full diagnostics of all of the ECUs that I have in this damn truck. Um, cause I've asked the mechanics around here, they're like, look, I don't know where to begin at. 
And the reason why is because I tell them everything that I'm doing. I'm taking my multi readers. I'm reading off of here. I'm reading off my, you know, my my wires for the core packs, the igniters, uh, core packs. Uh, I took my multi reader uh, here to the mass flow sensor, to the actual connector, um, to the, the throttle. Hmm, interesting, hold up, it's got a weird noise to it, it's got a real weird noise to it, why does my Dorado sound like that, hmm, um, shit, all right, I think I know what's going on. So recently I just disconnected my throttle position sensor. Um, let's see something here. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, forget it. This video is way too long for me to do this. Um, I'll look up the code and figure out what, what, what to go from, from there. But again, hopefully my tech stream tester that's coming next week will be able to get me some more valuable information.